This morning the pastor will be in Revelation chapter 22. Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 through 7, with verse 3 being the text. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. There is crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, is there the tree of life, which bear twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. And the And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Jeff. Appreciate that. I want to, um, this morning, the message will be more of a a chat like than, than a regular sermon this morning. We, um, we've, uh, a couple of us have had a pretty tough week. I'm, sh- I'm sure the weeks get tough for you along the way too. And this morning I want to smile a little bit. This morning I want to have a good time a little bit. There's nothing that says we can't have a good time in church. I believe if we can't have a good time in church, we can't have a good time. That's for sure. So hopefully that, that I'll see you smile before we get done. Uh, I was telling the people earlier, the, the, the normal, the average, well, I, I don't think there's anything that normal comes out of this place too much, but the, the average length of time is about 35 to 40 minutes for the message. And I've tried. I, I, had, it, I had it as low as, as 62 coming into this morning. I got it down to 57. So we're still going to get out at 1215 no matter what. So you can plan on that. Um, that's central time. Right off the top, I want you to think about your favorite food. Don't tell me yet. What is your favorite food? And if you don't mind, if if you were on um, if you were on um, America's Funniest Home Videos or a show that shows videos of your life, if you can think of a of a one minute video spot and can share it with us, let us know what it is. Now this this is this is church, so it can't be X rated or anything like that. You know, so uh, think about it. If you can share that with us, that would that would be great. Um, question that's asked of me a lot is, preacher, what do people do when they go to heaven? What are they doing in heaven right now? On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, what do they do all day long? Um, let let me just say, for me, I don't know about for you, but for me, heaven would not be a heaven would be sort of a boring place if all we did was sit on a, on a chase lounge, sipping a cup of iced tea, watching the, the uh, animals go down across the valley, sleep when you want to. I'm going to put Brother Jeff to sleep. Sleep when you want to. Get up when you want to. It sounds good, but that would be a little bit boring, I think. Um, Heaven is, is not a place, I don't think, where we're going to sing holy, 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 holy all day long. I think heaven's going to be a, a, a busy place. Someone asked me just the other day, Pastor, what occupies our, well, I was going to say time, but we don't have time in heaven. There'll be no wristwatches in heaven. Bro, Josh, you won't have to leave church and go to work. Amen. Um, you won't have any alarm clock. Anybody still set an alarm clock? The one, the one good thing, well, there's, there's many good things, but the, one of the good things about, about being retired from the public service is not having to get up in the morning if you don't want to. Now, I, haven't, I don't think in my whole life I've slept in past 7, 7.30, and I still get up at 4.30, 5, 30, 6 o'clock, something like that, but I don't have to. 
I used to go to bed at night, and I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing some of you the wrong way, I can just tell. I used to go to bed at night and think, oh, my, tomorrow's Monday. About halfway through church, uh, I remember sitting in church thinking, man, it's been a good service, but tomorrow's Monday, and I go to work, you know. Uh, what, what, do people, what do people do to occupy their time, well, their said time anyhow, in heaven? Um, I don't think... We're going to get we're going to get um, we're going to get glorified bodies. Now I don't know what your body will look like when you get to heaven. Uh, will will little ones be little ones and big ones be big ones? I I don't I don't know that for sure. I don't think the Bible says it anywhere. I know we'll have glorified bodies. We'll have bodies that, that never die anymore. I wish I had a glorified body this morning when I tried to get up there three times and and did all kind of crazy noises trying to get up. But uh, uh, what, whatever our glorified bodies will be. They're glorified. They've got to be better than what these things are, for sure. You know, um, The first thing we're going to do when we get to heaven is we're going to serve Jesus. We're going to look around for ways, I, I said about being busy. We're going to look around for ways to serve Jesus. Um, like we serve Jesus here. How, how do, preacher, how do you serve Jesus here? Well, I, I serve Jesus here by preaching every Sunday morning by preparing Monday through Saturday to, to be ready for Sunday morning, um, by getting devotionals ready to put on the, on the Internet across the country every, every day, by putting up with you. That's a giant task right there. I think the Lord has, for preachers, I think he, especially in a church like ours, I think he has a little drawer that he has full goodies and whenever, he, whenever the preacher goes to church and looks at mugs like I'm looking at right now, he opens that drawer up with all these goodies and he starts sprinkling them out of the way. 14702 Pines Clear Spring Road, they're going to land on the house. I'll have them when I go over. Marshmallow, no, I don't like marshmallows. Chocolate, chocolate covered, uh, what do they call them, uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Chocolate covered eggs. Just, just throw them out to that preacher. He's, he, he needs it. He needs it. We, uh, I, I serve you by marrying your young people and burying your old people and anywhere in between. I try to serve you by giving you a smile when you need a smile and by encouraging you when you need encouraged. And on and on I could go, but you do the same for me. You put a smile on my face. You make me want to be able to get up and go to, go to, to uh, work on Monday morning in the church on Sunday morning. There's little, there's little smiles. Brother Mike, I look back, and he's got that goofy-looking grin on his face most of the time. He can't help it. That's just the way he is. Sister Linda has that little grin on her face most of the time. Sister Sierra gives me that little wink or that eyeball every once in a while. The wink I can stand, the eyeball I could do away with. We're going to serve God when we get to heaven. That means that we, we're, going to, we're, going to have an, we're going to have an occupation. That means we're going to have a job. We're going to, we're going to go to work, but it won't feel like work. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be great if you could do something you really like to do? Wouldn't it be great if you could, if you could be, a, if you could be a, 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 a major league baseball player? Or... Um, or an award-winning cook show personality. Be a great thing. What are we going to do we, when we get to heaven? We're going to have a social life. We're going to, when you think about social life, when you think about your social life, I keep, it, keep, it, keep it churchy now. When you think about your social life, what do you, what, what's one of the first things you think about? <laughs> if you don't have three kids and you have a social life, one of the first things that comes to mind is eating. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going to eat. We're going to do a lot of eating when we get to heaven, for sure. All through the Bible, you'll find that Jesus ate. On the road to, to Emmaus, he, he stopped and ate. You remember the, I, I was hoping Evan would be here. Did he catch any fish? <laughs> 
Okay, we'll, we'll see him, I guess. He didn't catch fish like Peter caught fish, though. You remember the story how the, they were casting nets all night long and the, they, they kept pulling them up and there was nothing. All of a sudden, the, they were full and the boat sank and all that. What they, don't, what they didn't tell you, what they didn't tell some of this, some of this, Brother Jeff, is in your Greek Bible. Some of it isn't even in your Greek Bible. It's in your Hebrew Bible, and you probably don't even have one of them. I'll, I'll get you one one time. What they didn't show you, what they didn't tell you was after, after they landed to the shore, they had a giant fish fry. Glory to God, all kind of fish. I don't know what kind of fish they bought. Uh, they, 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 they caught back in those days, whether it was catfish and, and uh, musky and uh, bass and trout and, and uh, yellowfin tuna. Now it's getting a little bit big there now. But, but uh, all, 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 kind, all kind of stuff. Uh, we're we're going to do a lot of eating when we get to heaven. A lot of eating. The um, Bible says, the Bible talks about the marriage supper of the Lamb. When you think about supper time, you think about eating. What's your favorite food? Somebody share, what's your favorite food? Lobster. 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 I, could, I could do without lobster, but I could, if I, if I had to, I could eat it, I guess. Steam shrimp. Steam shrimp. I, could, I, could, I could eat steam shrimp. Especially if somebody would peel the the, 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 uh, the goodies off of them, you know. Spaghetti and Mary's cake. Spaghetti and Mary's cake. Yeah, that's, a, that's an amen and a double amen. <laughs> spaghetti and Mary's cake. I, I can eat I can eat spaghetti all day every day. It doesn't even have to have sauce on it. Just give me a little bit of butter and I put it on it. That'd, that'd be all right. Just just something so it don't stick together. And if it sticks together, it's easier chewing. You don't have to chew it so much. The um, Bible talks about a wedding feast in the sky. I've been to some of these feasts. Uh, I, I shared with you before, I like, um, I like uh, Western Sizzlin's buffet. You just go there and you just eat till your heart's content, till you're filled up, till you walk out and, and uh, you're a dirty sinner then because you, you're a glutton, you know. Um, the Bible talks about the manna that fell out of the sky for 40 days and 40 nights and kept the, the Israelites alive while they went across the desert. The Bible calls it angel's food. You know where angel's food cake comes from? Right there. That's where the idea comes from, angel's food. The angels ate food. Glory to God, the angels aren't going to get anything on me. If they're going to eat food, I'm going to eat food too. I'm going to be the first one at the table. It says a lot about uh, about eating in heaven, uh, and it's all going to be, it's all going to be a low fat. Matter of fact, it's going to be a non fat diet, at least a low fat diet, sugar free. Uh, uh, what's that other thing? Uh, Gluten free. It's a low fat diet. Um, now they're going to have gluten free spaghetti in heaven. Calorie free. Yeah, that, that's a good thing. Cal- calorie free. I eat a lot of calorie free diet. I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a low fat diet right now. My fat's very low. So, anyhow. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to um, take a tour of the place. There's mansions up on the hill, mansions down in the valley, mansions everywhere. Imagine, Brother Mike, we're going to load on one of them glorified tour buses that you used to work on down here in D.C. They don't break down in heaven, though. They, 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 they last forever in heaven. I don't know if they have gold in them or not, but we, we load on them tour buses, and we go around, and the tour, tour guy's going to say, over there's uh, Pastor John's house. Look at, the, look at the mailbox at the end of the, the driveway. It's a Pittsburgh Steelers mailbox. Glory to God. It's got Carolina blue shutters on the windows. You'll be able to tell his house right off the bat. Look, look at over there. There's a tent. It says product of West Virginia. That's, that's just wrong, isn't it? <laughs> that's, just, that's just wrong. That house over there belongs to O.J. Well, anyhow. Um, that house over there with all the animals in the front yard, guess whose house that is? Yeah, you want to watch going through that yard there. 
that, that road, that house right down the road that has the roosters in the front yard, guess whose that house is? That's Peter's house. To remind him about the, the cocks crowing the whole time. That's, that's Peter's house. You see, I, I don't think we're going we're gonna to be like a bunch of spooks just floating around in heaven doing nothing. We're going to be busy at being busy. Uh, and and the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the good time we're going to have being there with, with each other, those of us that are saved, ready to go to heaven, we're going to have, we're going to have bodies in heaven. Um, we're going to be able to, I believe, visit with each other and reminisce. That means, that means to remember the old times. Um, you can remember some old times. I, so, some of them are funny and some of them aren't so funny. I like to dwell on the funny old times. I told you the story about Brother Jess. I can talk to her, talk about her all she wants. She's got that little thing over there. She ain't going to hear with that tribe she's got over there. Man, you don't want that tribe in here, I'll tell you that. Praise the Lord, they're over there. But um, I told you the story of her dad putting them dirty pants next to the heater on the bus and stinking the whole bus out on the way home from Hancock. That's, that's, one, of the, that's one of the funny times. I was talking to... Uh, Jess and Sierra in the office yesterday a little bit, and they'll know who I'm talking about. We were out vi- we were out visiting one time. I knocked on the door, and just the time the door opened, the guy that I was visiting with fell off the porch into a rose bush. He broke the rose bush in half and took three three rolls down through the yard. Got up, he was bleeding all over his arms. He said, "I think I might be hurt a little bit." This didn't go so well. Um, we're going to have. Family reunions in heaven. Praise the Lord. Family reunions like no family reunions. I'm not a real fan of family reunions until I get to heaven, I think. Um, we'll have the, I, I imagine the Baptists are going to be on one side and the Mennonites are going to be other, on the other side. The Baptists are going to have the, the organ and the piano going and the Mennonites are going to have the full, full the, uh, the uh, harmony going on in their, on their side. I can, see, I can see the wife's mother, Becky's mother, stand up singing the Whippoorwill song to everybody in heaven. And uh, everything that goes on there, I'm simply saying we're going, to be, we're going to be busy in heaven. There's going to be horseback riding in heaven. Each and every one of us, according to the Bible, this is all, you'll, you'll find this in your Bible. Each and every one of us are going to own a white horse. Why? So we can come back with Jesus during the millennium and rule the, rule the, the age that we live in, that, that we'll live in there. We'll, we'll each be in charge of something. I'm going to be in charge of Potomac Edison, I'm sure. You might be in charge of, uh, uh, I, I, what, what, what would you like to be in charge of when you come back? Brother Steve? Mummert Road, he's going to be the mayor of Mummert Road. Huh? Yeah, Glory to God, that would be my second thing. You and, me and you ought to team up, that's for sure. I get done with, with Potomac Edison, he won't be done near done with Antietam Cable yet. That's for sure. No, huh? Gonna that's going to be a tough job. The Lord's going to be on our side, though, for sure. Um, you want to know, while we're, while we're visiting, while we're seeing people in heaven, you want to know what it must have felt like to see the, the Red Sea part? The ground dry and the ocean on this side and the ocean on this side with the fish coming up and looking at you through the, through the, the glass of the, the sea. Just stroll over and talk to Moses. He's going to be there. Just, just, just ask him. You want to you wanna see what the, you want to feel how he felt in the Garden of Eden? Over there's, over there's Adam. Over there's Eve. Go, go talk to him. They'll, they'll tell you what Tell you what it looks like. Tell you what it felt like. Um, you folks down there on earth, you write obituaries in the paper. We write arrivals in heaven. Probably, probably after I've been there a while, after we're there a while, I'll walk over and get somebody. Sis, sis, I, I, ne- I never will forget first time you guys were here. Just said, that big guy that sits in front of me, am I sitting in his seat? 
talking about Steve. He said, no, you sit where you want to sit. Steve will sit where he wants to sit. And he will. If he gets in his mind, he's going to move you out of your seat, brother. You're going to move out of his seat. <laughs> but after we're there a while, with our, with our bodies changed the way they'll be, I'm going to walk up to Sister Jess and I'm going to say, see that, see that, see that six foot four inch lady over there? That's Linda. <laughs> and see that little midget beside her? That's Steve. You, 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 you never will know what's going to be in heaven. You never will know. I'm going to walk up to Sister, Sister uh, uh, Sierra and say, I have someone here I want you to meet. This is Miss Irene. And how, how sweet that's going to be. How sweet that's going to be. Had a preacher friend one time say, Preacher, don't, don't ever worry about talking too much about heaven because you can just make stuff up. Just make up anything you want to make up and anything that you make up, heaven's going to be better than what you make up, for sure. And it is, it's going to be without a doubt. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going, to, we're, going to go, we're going to tour mansions. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going to eat. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going to ride horses. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going to eat. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going to visit people. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going to eat. What are we going to do in heaven? We're going to serve Jesus. Jesus doesn't want us to serve him on an empty stomach, so what are we going to do? We're going to eat. We're going to, if, if, there were, if there were time in heaven, I think maybe 23 hours and 30 minutes out of the, out of the, out of the day would be eaten. We'd, we'd, be, we'd be hogged up messes if we'd gain weight, but we're not going to gain weight in heaven. What are you going to do in heaven? I believe there's going to be museums in heaven. Um, I told you before, I'm not a real fan of museums. Wife used, to, wife used to go to museums some, and I'd, I'd struggle. Oh, yeah, honey, I'm having a good time. See? You folks, you folks in California that are listening, I don't like museums. But this is going to be a museum. This isn't going to be a, this isn't going to be a, a museum. This is going to be a museum in heaven. In this museum, the Ark of the Covenant is going to be there. In this museum, because the Ark of the Covenant is there, that means that the original stone tablets that the Ten Commandments were written on are going to be there, that we can touch them, we can feel them. They're going to be there. Aaron's rod that budded is going to be there. For sure, it's going to be there. In this museum, I believe the, the very cross that Jesus died on is going to be in that museum for us to see, for us to even reach up and touch it and feel it. I can, I can hear you singing, On a hill far away, while we stand and look at the actual cross where Jesus died on. I think the manger is going to be there to show us what the manger looked like. If we're little, Brother Steve, you might even crawl in the manger. I don't know. If it's going to be that big or if it's going to be that little or not. How about a... I've heard a story. You know how you get, you get hollered at? No, you get taught. You get screamed at. You get persuaded by your mother. You went out of the house and left the door hang open. Can you imagine Mary hollering at Jesus? Jesus, get back in here and shut that door. Where do you think you were born at, in a barn? Oh, he was. He was. How about a video museum? Now we're getting into it. Top and center in this video museum, there's going to be dumb things that we do, crazy things that, we, that we've done. There's going to be, I believe, a video of the Red Sea parting and the, and the, the ocean there. I believe you pouring that tub of water on your head will probably be there. Um, 
Can you imagine to, to see Jesus walking on the water and how it actually happened? That'd be a good youth activity for, the, for Brother Evans to try whenever he gets the youth kids. Can you, can you imagine the expression on the face when the uh, disciples started to gather up the food that was left over and they had more food that was left over than what they, le- than what they had when they began? Over here, Peter. Over here's another basket. Glory to God, I just picked up three over here. We only started with two. They ended up with 12 baskets full. They only started out with, what, five loaves and two fishes. Can you imagine the expression on their face when they saw all that food? It'd be like a homeless man in a buffet. Um, I want to see... I want to see the video of Mount Carmel. Can you imagine a whole mountain made out of Carmel? I want to see... I'll, I'll hear about that later, no doubt about it. Um, I want to see the video of David and Goliath. I want to see that little booger come down out of them hills. And I want to see, I want to see Goliath. Stand up there, Goliath. Man, you're bigger than what I thought. I want, to see, I want to see little old, Goli- little old David stand up to big old Goliath and say, come on, buddy, put him up. Yeah. Put him up. That ain't going to work. Give me a slingshot. After the king says, here, take, take my armor. I don't want that armor. He can sit back down. <laughs> David li- or Goliath listens well. I don't need that armor. I don't need that. I don't need that breastplate. I don't need that that um, AR-15. I don't need any of that kind of stuff. All I need is this little slingshot here. And he slings that thing around through that rock. And I've told you before. I believe if the rock, like it does whenever I try to use it, if the, if I'm aiming if I'm aiming here, and you're sitting over here, you want to duck. If I'm aiming here and you're sitting there, you're pretty much safe. But, but David was good. He slung that thing around, and I believe if it would have went there, it would have went like in, uh, like in missiles you see on TV. Ricocheted right around and hit, hit Goliath and put him down. You think we're having a good time here? You wait till we get to heaven. It's going to be a good time in heaven for sure. The Bible says in heaven we're going to have a lot of family time. He mentions Jacob and Andrew and Abraham, or a- Abraham, Jacob, and, and uh, Isaac sitting down together. What are they? The three generations. It's always been important to God about having family time, about spending time together with your family, being there with your family. In my soul, we're going to have a great time with families in heaven. Our original families, maybe the Lord's coming back now. Our original families, our blood families, our church families, part of family time, part of church time is testimony time. Anybody have a testimony? Up stands the thief on the cross. I can tell you a real testimony. I never went to church one day in my life. I never give, enough, I never give a, 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 an offering. Matter of fact, one time I went, I went inside the church house to a funeral and I took money out of the offering plate. We had a little kid one time uh, while the offering plate passed. I don't know if you remember that, Brother Mike, or not, if you, if you were doing it then. Uh, it was um, Lindsay's little boy. The offering plate went past him. She said, put that back in there. He was taking money out instead of putting money in. I did that, the thief said. Up stands Frankie boy. Boy, I just had a good time in church. I kept the ushers running around through the building. 
They couldn't catch me. They couldn't catch me. I can hear your grandfather singing. What was that group he sang in? I, I do. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you with it after a while. The woman at the well's there. Jesus, you know me. Yeah, I know you. You're the one with five husbands. Working on your sixth one. Twenty-four kids. Zacchaeus stands up. I was just a little booger. I had to climb up in the tree to see you, Jesus, but I wanted to see you. And you looked up in the tree. You knew I was there. You looked up in the tree and you said, come on down here, Zacchaeus. We're going to go to your house and have a good old time today. We're going to, we're going to fix, fix spaghetti and meat day, meatballs, um, lobster, what, Mary's cake with spaghetti, steamed shrimp, Hard shell crabs, we're, 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 we're really getting to some good stuff here now. Hard shell crabs in heaven are going to be pre-picked. The, the, the crabs are, Brother Andy, you, you, you'll, you'll not read this in your Bible, but the crabs in heaven are going to be pre-picked. They're going to be pre-programmed. They're going to crawl up on your plate, die right there on your plate, and the meat's just going to pop out in a big pile right beside it. Already obeyed and everything. Glory to God. That's preaching now, isn't it? Glory to God. Um, I um, had a talk with my mom the other night. And I reached out and touched my dad's hand, it seemed like. And ended up the same night talking to the wife a little bit. I'm sure you do that. Sister Mary, sometimes. Brother Mike, I'm sure you do at different times. Brother Keith lost his mom and, and her dad and different ones. And the wife said, uh, I wish I was there with you. I wish I was there with you. She said, she said, we got to, we got a wedding planned, and and I want you to save me a seat right up front, right where everybody can see us. She said, I want you to tell Buck and Keith hi, and everybody in the church hi, and I'm okay. Just make sure you come and see me someday. Just make sure you come and see me. I think we're all going to stand with a loud voice and sing hallelujah, what a savior. I think there's so many wonderful things going on in heaven. One of the thing, one of the, the, the things that we need to make sure is that, um, that you're ready to go. All this stuff, all this stuff we talked about is going to be foreign from you. You're not going to be able to experience any of it unless you have your ticket in hand. I believe we'll, we'll see these, we'll, we're talking about this video museum. I believe we'll, we'll binge watch our lives over and over and over again and wish things were different. And Sister Tina, there'll be no C words in heaven at all. There'll be no chemotherapies in heaven. Death won't even be in the dictionary in heaven. We'll have ample things to keep us busy in glory. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Are you sure? Are you positive? You see, Going to church has nothing to do with it. Being good has nothing to do. If being good got us to heaven, everybody in here would go to heaven for sure. I don't see any bad people here. But it has no bearing on it. Can you remember a place in your life when you asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart? Can you remember? If you can't, you can't go. Jesus isn't a meanie. 
but heaven would be no different than this place if everybody that was alive went to heaven. It has to be something different, and the something different is, did you invite Jesus Christ into your heart? Are you positive? I can see Jesus standing at the, at the gate. Jesus himself. There's nothing like being greeted by the big guy. I can see Jesus himself standing by the gate saying, here, Steve, here's your menu for today. Everything you like to eat on there, places you like to go on there, just follow the yellow brick road, and you'll get to where you want to go. Brother Mike, everything's laid out for you. You don't have to make a decision. You don't have to decide anything. I know your decider is pretty well broke up. So just, just follow the map and go where you want to go. Do what you want to do, but follow the map and you'll get there. Are you sure? Are you positive? You folks listening at home, you folks listening in a nursing home. We talked about Miss Irene and Miss Sierra meeting each other. We'd love to meet you in heaven. We'd love to see you in heaven. But you cannot go without knowing Jesus in your heart. Do you remember a time in your life when you asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart? If you can't, do it right now. Follow me in this simple prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I've sinned. Come into my heart and into my life and forgive me my sin. If you can pray a prayer or something like that and mean it in your heart, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation and with the heart Man believes unto righteousness. It's just that simple. Now with heads bowed and with eyes closed, I'm going to ask you, are you sure beyond being sure that if the Lord would come back today, you go to heaven? If you're not, just ask him into your heart just like we asked, we just prayed just a minute ago. If you're ready for heaven and you're a little bit apprehensive about it, I'll just admit, with heads bowed and with eyes closed, I'll just admit it to you. I'm ready to go to heaven, but I just soon spend this week here yet. Even with all the troubles and trials we go through, with all the, the good things that are coming up, I'd just soon be here. But nevertheless, your will, not mine, be done, Jesus. If you're at a place in your life where you know you're not where you're supposed to be, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're saved, and that's taken care of, but you're not as close as you need to be. Get close today. Be there today. Father, I pray that whatever decision we just now made, and we all made one, every one of us, we said we're saved and we're ready to go to heaven, or we said we're not and we're, we're inviting, inviting him into our heart right now, or we're saying, I, I think I'll put it off till next week, Jesus. Whatever the case might be, let us act on that decision this week. And if yet, if yet we need to make a decision before we leave, the, the door is wide open. It's wide open for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray now that you go with us as we leave this place. Give us traveling mercies. I pray that you'd bring us back in a mighty way. Cause us to look around us this week and see those that are in need around us. And we'll thank you in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. Amen. Sounds like we need to rest.